Hello and welcome to the Daily Decrypt, episode 22. Today, Bitcoin is $392. Dogecoin is one one hundredth of a cent. Sorry, I said that wrong yesterday. New Bits is 99 cents. And Bitcoin Dark is $1.36. Today's episode is brought to you by Fuck Up Nights. In crypto news, Cointelegraph reports that the social tipping service ChangeTip has just released their first mobile app on iOS. The app extends ChangeTip's functionality, which before has been limited just to social sites like Twitter, YouTube, and Reddit. Now, however, users of the app can send Bitcoin tips to one another using just an email address or a phone number. In more crypto news, the founders of Streamium were recently interviewed on Epicenter Bitcoin. Streamium is a video streaming app which allows users to pay Bitcoin by the second to watch any given stream. The founders of the app reached out to the user base and found that roughly half of all their users are cam girls. Founder Manuel Arauz said this didn't really surprise him as Streamium offers cam girls three things which they don't get anywhere else. First is that because Streamium uses Bitcoin payments, there's no risk of chargebacks. Second is that streams don't have to be paid for in their entirety up front. Viewers can pay for just a few seconds to test out the product and then decide whether or not they want to buy. And third, and perhaps most significant, is that Streamium has no fees for the streamer, which means cam girls, who typically pay up to half of their income to traditional cam sites, can double their revenue. In more crypto news, Coinomat is an online exchange which also offers custom bank cards that can be topped up in fiat by depositing Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Dash, NXT, Bitcoin Dark, or Peercoin. Coinomat recently told NewsBTC, however, that they would like to begin courting customers who have no experience with banks whatsoever. The company is calling this their Fiat to Alt program, and Coinomat says it plans to begin establishing physical locations around the world where people can come and deposit fiat paper money in exchange for cryptocurrency. In more crypto news, Bitwalla has joined Coinimal in offering Bitcoin to PayPal top-up services. Users with accounts at Bitwalla or Coinimal can deposit Bitcoin. The company then transfers it to Fiat and deposits it in any PayPal account. The companies take no commission for this particular service, but users must still pay PayPal's commercial transaction fees. In more crypto news, creators at the YouTube channel Node have released a new video called How Satoshi Nakamoto Can Make Bitcoin Go Viral Overnight. The film points out that Satoshi has not spent any of his massive Bitcoin fortune, likely because he'd like to remain anonymous and keep attention away from himself. The film suggests that Satoshi come forth from his years-long silence and create a global competition to win a part of his Bitcoin fortune, a la Willy Wonka giving away golden tickets to come to the chocolate factory. The filmmakers at Node imagine that this would inspire a global frenzy, causing millions if not billions of people to become incentivized to learn about and adopt Bitcoin overnight. In security news, you may have heard of Text Secure, which is an app which encrypts regular texts sent between its users, and you may have heard of Redphone, an app which does the same for cell phone calls. Both apps are products of the same company, Open Whisper Systems. And in a move to increase their ease of use, the company has combined them into one app called Signal. Wired reports that Signal has been available in the iOS app store since last year, but is just today available in Android. The Signal app even comes with celebrity endorsement from Edward Snowden himself. And in networking news, Ars Technica has published a story about the residents of a small island in Washington state who were fed up with the shoddy service they were getting from ISP CenturyLink. A handful of the island's tech-savviest residents decided to build their own network infrastructure. They used a drone to scout treetops, installed radios in those treetops, and then paid to have a microwave transmitter installed on a tower on the mainland to connect them to the internet at large. Their efforts worked, 
and the homemade infrastructure now pipes internet to 50 homes on the island. Special thanks to our sponsor, FUN, the monthly event in a hundred cities around the globe where people gather to tell their stories of failure. The presentations of several past FUN participants have been recorded and uploaded to YouTube. To get an idea of how it all works, check out the link of one such presentation that we've placed in the description below. And if you don't share this video on at least one social media site, you'll have bad luck for seven years.